Hello, and welcome to our lesson on Pythagoras and Theorem. So Pythagoras and Theorem tells us that in a right angle triangle, the area of the squares on the two shorter sides add together to make the area of the square on the side of the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is the side which is always opposite the right angle. We can use this theorem to calculate the length of A in this right angle triangle. The area of the square on the hypotenuse side and A is opposite the right angle, so that is the hypotenuse. The area of the square on the hypotenuse side, so A squared, which is the area of that square, is equal to the sum of the areas on the other two sides. The area of a square on the 5 cm side is 5 squared, and the area of a square on the 12 cm side is 12 squared. We can use this to work out the length of A, because A squared will equal 25, which is 5 squared, plus the 12 squared, which is 144. So A squared will equal 25 plus 144, which is 169. Now by square rooting both sides, the square and the square root will cancel, and the square root of 169 is 13. So the length of the hypotenuse will be 13 centimeters. We can use this again to work out the length of B, which is the hypotenuse. So the area of the square on the hypotenuse side is B squared, and this is equal to the area of the square on the 6 cm side, which is 6 squared, plus the area of the square on the 8 cm side, which is 8 squared. So b squared is equal to 36 add 64. So b squared is equal to 100. And by square rooting both sides, the square and the square root will cancel, so we are left with the length of B, which is 10 centimetres. Okay, let's try some more questions. Do you want to try and work out the length of the hypotenuse C in this question? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so the area of the square on the side of the hypotenuse. We now see the hypotenuse because it is opposite the right angle. So the area of that square is equal to c squared, and that is made as a result of the area of the square on the 8 cm side, which is a squared, plus the area of the square on the 15 cm side, which is 15 squared. So c squared is equal to a squared, which is 64, plus the 15 squared, which is 225. So C squared will equal 289. So we can square root both sides. The square and the square root will cancel, which means the length of C will be 17 centimeters. If you haven't already done so, do you want to try and work out the length of D? by pausing the video and you can redeem it when you're ready. Okay, for D, we know this is still the hypotenuse because this is opposite the right angle. So the area of the square on this side, which is D squared, is equal to the area of the squares on the other two sides. So C squared plus six squared. So D squared will equal 36 plus 36, which is 72. We can square root both sides. So D, the length of D will be approximately 8.49 centimeters. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.